An emerging problem for Columbiana County law enforcement. There are not enough emergency dispatchers. 27 First News Weekend anchor Katie Wilson explains there's a lack of funding and even more expected of dispatchers. 911, where's your emergency? It was a typical day for dispatchers at the Columbiana County Sheriff's Office. Lots of calls and lots of time on the phones. Is there, is there anybody there with you, sir? And while the day ran smoothly, Sheriff Raystone says they're starting to run into a problem. It's harder and harder to find dispatchers these days. There's a dispatcher shortage in Columbiana County. And Sheriff Stone says there's two main reasons why. One, it's more demanding. It's very much harder, yeah. Dispatchers now handle medical dispatching. Are you breathing okay? And are required by law to stay on the line with a caller until first responders arrive. They also have to go through 72 hours of training plus continuous education. That leads to reason number two. It cost me, uh, we estimated between ten and $12,000 to send my people to training. And the training was actually free, but that's how much it cost me an hourly rate to pay my dispatchers to go to the schools. Without that training, you can't answer phones as a dispatcher. And if there are no dispatchers at an answering service, you run into a situation like this. Rita, they're logged off down there. Did you guys notify us at all? Why are they logged off? Because they don't have a 911 dispatcher. Dispatchers at the sheriff's office transferred a call to an answering service near their caller. No dispatcher was there, so the call was transferred back to them. I lost connection with you. Before eventually going to a police department. Dispatchers told me this was the first time this has happened, but it may not be the last. In Columbiana County, Katie Wilson, WKBN 27 First News.